Oh, there we go. All right, we are live and in color. So I am Devin and I am a natural hair, makeup, and nail stylist. I am a traveling stylist as well as a virtual tutor. So if you are looking for any tips or any heads ups or answers to your questions about anything natural, I got you right here, okay? So today we are actually going to learn how to French braid. I have had Divines ask me about French braiding. So I wanted to make sure that your questions are answered and I've been asking Divines to put their requests for Tutorial Tuesdays in my DM. So if you have an idea or something that you want to know how to do or whatever, drop it in, send it to me so that I can add it to the to-do list, okay? Let me tell you my current state of my hair. <laughs> Let's start there, right friends? So the current state of my hair is, I did a twist out. So if you are my own maven, you already know. So I tuned into my own organics live and I did a flat twist out. And it turned out great. I actually started here and flat twist all the way over. So I still have some of those curls from that flat twist out. And can I tell you that we did that a week ago? I wanna say because it had to have been last Monday. Yeah, it was definitely last Monday's live. So I still have flat twist out results from a week ago. Do you all know I do not want to comb these out right now? But that's okay, so I'll just redo it. So <laughs> I can do that. But I'm going to be playing with the front of my hair today since most of these curls are gone anyway. It was just, look at this back here. I was so happy. Um, so let me unclip this and make a section right here in the front because I want to show you all how to start a braid, what to do for your braid, all the above. in it just a tiny bit my hair is so moisturized from the rice water hair milk you can see my hands are so shiny it's still seven days later okay so I'm gonna take this comb. this is actually a satin comb and what it does is it doesn't snag your hair when it's combing through this is one of the few combs that can go through my hair. I prefer brushes. Oh yes, I see. You changed your profile pic. Okay, so see, I turned that into more of a poof or a blowout, which you would typically do when you French braid your hair anyway. It also depends on the type of hair you have. I have clients that I wet their hair when I'm braiding it because I do not, I'm not heavy handed. I specialize in working with people that are tender head. So my braids are never super tight. So I can braid their hair when it's wet. Uh, however, I'm doing it today with 
blown out here so that the normal way <laughs> is that you can get some grip, okay? I find myself able to work with multiple textures and types of hair, which is why I do what I do. So I can French braid fine hair, I can French braid coarse hair, medium, in between, short, long, it doesn't matter. But everyone doesn't learn the same. So that's why another reason why I'm showing you right here in the front, okay? Because I want you to see how that's going to turn out. I also have two different gels that I'm gonna use and show you what's best to do your parts with. So Shine and Jam, but it's the conditioning gel. I like this one more because you don't have to worry about it being really hard and crispy, but it holds it. It holds it like no other, okay? And then the other one is Extreme. First of all, do you see how this is Extreme? It's literally the size of my head. You can get this whole tub for $2.99 at Target. <laughs> so if you're looking for something cheap, here you go. And actually Shine and Jam, this one is pretty cheap too. But this is the big container and this one's like $8. So I'll show you the difference in texture as well. So this is extreme. Can you see the movement in there? It's definitely water-based. You see it's actually moving right now. It's unsticky and rolling down. See that? So that's the difference with extreme. It's a lot more water-based and it's called the wet line, okay? Now this is Shine and Jam. It's literally upside down. Nothing's coming out, okay? It's very thick. So I'm going to use this for my parts and holding and this for the rest of my hair to smooth it out. And I'll show you what that means. So I did a pre-part. So I'm gonna take the Shine and Jam and I'm gonna go across my part because this is gonna help make it smooth. I'm gonna rub it back. Add some more. Now I'm gonna take my comb on that same part to make sure that it's nice and straight. Press it back so it sticks. So see the beginning there? Now I'm gonna come around. Now mind you, my hair is a week old, so if you are seeing my one week old flakes, it's because I decided not to wash because I'm about to put a bunch of stuff in my hair. <laughs> so I will wash it after this another day this week okay so now I'm pulling that back hello come on in we are learning how to French braid so now you see that part look how crispy that is that's smooth and that's what it does when you add that product right there okay now this is another piece I use for shine and jam edges so my natural hairline goes back. I have trained my hair to come up forward a little bit for my baby hair, like see here? I've trained it for that, but I'm gonna force it all to go back. And then if I want it later, I'll pull it back out. But because I'm, we're learning how to fringe braid and not how to do baby hairs, we are gonna push them back. Now, if you wanna do a baby hair, so, oops, send me a DM, let's do that. Add that in to the to-do list. So now I'm taking my comb. And this is a parting comb. See the hook at the top? You can use that to make your part super fine as well. So I'm combing my hair back. Hello! Hello, Divine! Okay, so look at that. Look at this. Come on now. Shining jam. <laughs> Do you see that? It's like holding, it ain't moving. What? So now I'm gonna take some of the extreme. I'm gonna put that down here. And add it towards the ends. See how it's poofy from the fro? Yes! If you need a parting comb, 
literally beauty supply one dollar don't go out there people are trying to monetize on these parting combs now y'all they putting their names on them they branding them and they're selling them you can go get yours from the beauty supply for one dollar you don't need a brand name on it so this is how you start a french braid you take the top take the beginning piece okay you split it into three pieces one two three okay let me read this comment because i want to make sure i don't miss them shining jam does not last on my hair my hair just curls up with it mind you it's the way that you use shining jam Shining Jam is works best when your hair is dry. If you, your hair, it works when it's wet too, but it really holds it down when it's dry. Now, it also depends on what you're using it for. Are you using it for a ponytail? Are you using it for braids? Because there's different Shining Jams for different things. They actually have a braiding Shining Jam. I just prefer to braid with this one, okay? So, this is how you start your three pieces. You have an outside, a middle, and another outside. What you do is you tuck under. So you take your middle finger, slide under, grab from the other side, and pull forward. Let's try that one more time. Here's the top. Now this outer piece is going to go under and this middle finger is going to grab. Now you have your other hand on top. We are also under braiding. We are not over braiding. Okay, middle finger. Slide under, grab, pull forward. Now you have your other hand free for the hair on the top. Here's the outer piece. Slide under, here's your middle finger, grab, hand is free. Grab the hair on top. Middle finger, under, grab, free hand. Grab the hair on top. Let me fix the lighting for you guys. There you go. So you see it's starting to form? Middle finger, under, grab, free hand. Middle finger, under, grab, free hand. I'm gonna keep going so you all can see the motion. Okay, now this is the time where if you have questions, add them into in the question box if you're on Instagram. And if you're on Facebook, put it in the chat. I'm going to do another braid, I promise. I'm just doing this one right in the front and slow because it's the easiest to see. Trying to rotate so you all can see each move. I'm also doing this one close to my head, but the braid itself, I'm making it long. It's stretched out. See? It's nice. It's stretched out and flat. I'm doing that so you all can see what it looks like for the beginning stages because it's going to look like this. It's not going to look tight and perfect when you're trying. And then you continue your regular braid. Under braid, under, 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 under. Now, if you are here today and you're like, Devin, I don't even know how to braid. Okay, don't worry, sis. I did a tutorial Tuesday on how to braid and how to twist 101. So 
check that one out on YouTube or on IGTV. And I show you how to do this process right here. Today we're working, focusing on this process here. So this is individual braid. This is French braid. So French is, or flat is when it's touching your scalp it's on your head. Individual braids is when it leaves your scalp and it hangs by itself. So if I had just one braid box here, that's an individual braid. This one is a French braid. All right, let's make another one. I'm gonna do it from the other way though. So you all can see two directions. I have to be very careful. Now, you're also like, Devin, I don't know how to part that. What are you talking about? I did a tutorial Tuesday on how to part. Yes, I did. So do that too, if you need to. Okay. From this flat twist, you all see my hair. I've twisted it so it comes forward. So it's doing what I wanted to do then, just not now. Let me put this back. Okay, so we're gonna come this way. And then we're gonna go back and put the shining jam on there so that we can make this part crisp. Yes, I'm tender here too. <laughs> I still squint a little bit when I do my own hair. Okay, let me clip all this back. Actually, I'm putting a sketch. I think I did it before. Okay. So am I doing pretty well so far? No questions? All right, let's get our shiny gem because you see it's a little crooked here. next braid we're gonna go the opposite way so let's do the part because we did it with the shining jam so let's make sure this part is clean see that's the beginning using a product while parting. It makes them super clean. Go this way. Okay. Put this back, make sure it don't come forward. A little bit more on the front. It's not it's still kind of dry. All right, so we're gonna start the top triangle, and this goes into three pieces. So you see the beginning piece? Three pieces. One, two, three. Now I'm doing them big because this is the beginning version. As you get better and better. This part, this in the beginning, that splits in three will most likely be this size. That allows your braid to be nice and clean and neat. But we're doing bigger, flatter braids. because This is the beginning stages. So here's our first three pieces. Get close to the scalp. The first one is gonna go under. 
middle finger over grab free hand top pull through middle finger go under grab free hand on top back and forth now when you grab you're grabbing hair from the other side that has not been braided yet see this right here I'm grabbing and I'm pulling it through and I'm splitting that hair again with my middle finger Pop. here it is split grab free hand Grab, free hand, split, grab, free hand, split. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go back and forth so that you can see each piece. or if it's working. Can you all see what I'm doing each step? Because I do not want to be doing all this and you're like, we can't even see. So let me know. I'm going to go all the way down. Thank you. Okay, good view. Okay, perfect. Zoom in so you all can see them. So is that clean? Are there any questions? Because I'm going to turn this into a like puff at the top and tuck my braids. Thinking about tucking them. I don't know. What do you all think? What you think? What you think? You think I should tuck them or figure out something else? Because otherwise, I probably look crazy when I'm hanging on the side of my head like this. Be real. Be real. I leave them like a hairband? Because this hair is old flat twist. These are the curls from earlier. If you just came in, these curls over here, popping. But these over here, these aren't because this was the top of the flat twist. This was the bottom. So maybe we'll just keep those cute curls and put them at the top. Let's do that. So let's miss a little bit. And you all can see me finish this style. And I hope that you learned how to French braid today. If you're like, I need more practice, I am going to save this live. It is going to be a replay. I always put them on YouTube on my lessons channel. So the lessons playlist on my channel. <laughs> So do not worry about that. You can keep playing this as many times as you need over and over so you can see both directions. That's why I did my braids this way, um, to the left and to the right. So that you didn't have to try to figure it out from the opposite direction. I'm just gonna get this smooth brush. And I'm just gonna slick this up, I rotate. I don't want this to be tight. I don't want this to be super slick. I'm just making it smooth. 
because this style will literally be for a day. I don't need it to be perfect, but the water will help my hair smooth out. Now here's something else I could do as well. The extreme could be worked as a gel for ponytails as well. So I could take some of this to make sure that no flyaways are there, that all my hair sticks together. You can use it for everything, literally. We can make this into a puff. Thank you, device. I love you back. Thank you for always showing love. Thank you for being present today. It really means a lot to me. Like, for real, for real. I feel loved. It's hiding my braids. So let's make this into like a puff bun. We'll make it a high puff. So you just take the hairs that are long and you tuck them around. And then we're going to pin it. We'll do a couple pins. And then I'm gonna do one more scrunchie around the base because my hair is thick. So I have to have some extra, extra help. <laughs> so let's do this. Okay, tuck the hair. Make them, leave them a little funky. Now let's tuck the braids. So I'm thinking it's going to line up just like this. And we're going to pin those down and then tuck this braid in. And then let's do the other braid. shining jam and pulling them out oh I thank you we always I always have a vibe when you come when you come I have to have my music on I have this new fun music I throw on too but we learning how to braid I didn't want to make you all feel anxious because <laughs> this is no joke yes grab you a glass of wine divine yes do that you know what, I'm about to. Okay, so this is my new edge brush. Look at this, this thing is huge. But this right here is a comb. This is the fat brush, I love that. And this is the detailer. So, I'm ready. Okay, so let's do one this way. I got another one here. Oh, that's part of my braid, y'all. Messing them. We're not doing nothing major. Just some slight, some slight work. It's just to make these braids. Okay, see, 
I would try this hairstyle, but my hairline says nah. No, sis. It's gonna say yes. Please hit me up so we can do it. I would love to do this with you. We can get you right. I think I'm gonna pin the beginning of this because I made this part a little longer. So I'm just gonna tuck this hair into the braid like this. Uh-oh, I skipped it. I'm gonna go into the braid. There we go, and that'll hold it down. I'm gonna add one more on this side because this braid is a little thicker. So I'm just gonna go under the hair and secure it. And go through the braid a little bit. Just to make sure it holds. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, we finished the look. I hope that you learned how to French braid today. If not, remember I said this is a replay. You can always play it again. You can always go on YouTube and try it for yourself. If you do, please take pictures and send it to me so I can see it, so I can see your reviews and feature you in my highlights tab. And as well as, remember to love your locks and looks. It is what we do every Tuesday. If you have questions, feel free to DM me. And if you have an idea for the next Tutorial Tuesday, send it to my DMs. Love you, ladies. Bye.